please share with your friends and help fund my medical education because I'm going to be in debt. Hey guys, I'm super excited to be unboxing the poem book that I recently published on Amazon. This is probably going to be my last poem book before med school starts, but hopefully I'll still be able to write some during med school to give myself a creative outlet. I'm really excited to see how the cover turned out because I actually drew and designed the cover just like most of my other books. So those are always up in the air because I kind of submitted it without a proof because I was getting really impatient and I wanted to see how it looked and finish and publish it. So hopefully it turns out well. Looking back, this is definitely the poem book that I'm most proud of because I feel like it was much more cohesive than my other ones. Also kind of like a culmination of my experiences and I really liked the theme that I chose for this one and I feel like it really resonated with what I was going through this year and hopefully it can resonate with some of you. I have the Amazon package here. Thankfully, I can just like rip it off. The last one, I had to use scissors and I felt like I was going to cut the book because I literally can't open an envelope to save my life and I didn't even open this one nicely. Oh, let's see. Tear here. That would have been helpful to see. Open one more. Okay. Oh, this one's thicker than the last one. Oh my gosh. I'm kind of nervous. What if the cover's like gross? Oh, actually not too bad. The only- I mean, okay. So... Nice thing. So my only concern is that it's black on a dark green but it actually turned out really well. The title of this one is To Cage a Dragon and of course I have a little silhouette of a dragon down here. It is a work that explores conquering and accepting one's inner demons and dragons, dealing with unrealistic expectations, and overcoming rejection along with one's journey of self-growth, love, and acceptance. This book reflects on appreciating the small transient things and moments in life and finding one's happiness in an increasingly fast-paced digital world. So yeah, definitely the poem book I'm the most proud of and one that I'm really excited to be able to release before med school starts. And it's also so aesthetic. My favorite color is definitely dark green and this is like Slytherin colors. So yeah, if you buy it, I'll be really happy because it'll contribute like 20 cents to me being a little bit less in debt. I also, on the back, I have the main poem that's sort of framing the theme of this poem book. And I also drew this little dragon. It's so cute. <laughs> I tried to try, it struggled so hard. It's literally a silhouette, but I'm not an artist by any means. I was actually gonna ask my dad to draw the dragon, but he was busy and I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and do it. It's not like a ton of people see this, but yeah. Anyway, I'm excited. It looks so aesthetic. Like I literally think we should normalize carrying around books like accessories and i would just be like yes look at this it's nice it's black it goes with my top i can put it in my purse and look intellectual yes so even if you don't read this book buy it as an aesthetic statement piece hey look at the interior wow okay the font is good because my last book and the pages are really nice my last book, I put the font a little bit too big, so it wasn't as like aesthetically pleasing to the eye and well proportioned, but this one, it's really nice. As I say, you know, save the best for last, um, essentially. I really hope I continue to do writing in med school, but we'll definitely see how it goes. I think it's good to continue to keep your hobbies creative outlet because honestly, uh, not just poetry, but also journaling has helped me a lot to collect my thoughts and really reflect on what is usually in this generation a really fast paced life. So yeah, I'm gonna read a couple that are some of my favorites. So each of these I put like, I had like a subtitle on the page. It took a while for me to get the formatting for the page numbers and how to do the different sections, but it paid off. I also really liked how the different subheadings for each of the sections came out. I also wanted to sort of embody part of my Asian heritage is incorporating the symbolism of dragons. In um, Asian culture, dragons are really prominent and they also represent um, intelligence, fierceness, courage, wisdom, and I also wanted to encapsulate that through this too, because I also have some poems in here that are related to being someone who's from a second generation of Asian immigrants, as well as just a general story of our perceptions of ourselves now and trying to pay homage to our ancestors. Little specks on here. When I first did it, it was like an accident. I was trying to do the background blur and then I was like, wait, this looks like paint splatters or calligraphy splatters. You know, accidental discovery. Noticing now that this entire video is just a really long run on sentence, but you can tell how excited I am because I don't know, something about this one made me really excited to see it. 
even if I may be the only person and a couple of my friends and family are the only people to read it, I'm just proud to be at least be able to make a product, a creative product. These past couple of years in undergrad, it's been a lot of just like very rote memorization or a lot of like hard sciences. So it's nice to be able to contribute something to the humanities. I'm just really proud of how the poems came out and just the overall creative direction. A lot of them I hope will resonate with you as well too, because I think it speaks a lot to the journey of like self growth, overcoming rejection, dealing with all of these unrealistic expectations, especially in a very digital and technological and social media involved world. A lot of these things are what I went through in the past year. So hopefully you guys too, growing up in this generation or anyone else too can find some solace in the words in these poets. So please share with your friends and help fund my medical education because I'm going to be Okay, <laughs> first part is inspired by Carl Jung. He's a philosopher who talked about the uh, different parts of the self. So like the shadow, the persona, and the self being the unified version of all of the aspects of yourself. My section is called Journey into the Soul. And it just delves a little bit into um, your shadow self, the persona, so the mask we wear in public places and social spaces and then the self and how we can find ourselves and find a sense of fulfillment and unity through uniting and accepting all the aspects of ourselves the things that we can change and the things that we can't our shadow selves our less savory parts of ourselves as well as our more confident and creative parts of ourselves and then the subtitles go second guessing expectations the little dragon is actually like a little children's poetry that i wrote and i thought it was cute and also it's really nostalgic to be able to return to your child childhood and different childhood themes like honestly we need to embrace our inner child as well especially growing up and always having to suffocate that i'm going to read one of the main poems in the book which is the one featured on the back and it is conquering the dragon not all dragons are bad some fuel our fires ignite our passions drive us to be brave fierce ambitious and fearless give us the armor and ambition to go after our goals chase after our dreams other dragons cage us in, embody our deepest fears, hold us back, keep us prisoner to beastly inner demons. Our task is to find or fight the right ones. I'm noticing I kind of should have made this like white or something so it's easier to read, but you know what, that's okay. Like literally two people read my book, so it's fine. This one personally resonated with me this year because I also use poetry to do a lot with rejection and just like going through the med school app cycle. It can be a little bit stressful, not the worst thing, but it's also pretty stressful to go through. So this one's titled Rejection. Roads can't all be green lights, perpetual go, go, goes. Sometimes red lights give us a chance to pause, dedicated time to look at the present, to consider and reconsider and consider again. A shining special chance to turn a corner, slow down, change direction. Rejection hurts and stings, burns and is easily forgotten, but can show us what's best, what works, what is meant to be. Rejection can show us the right way and point us in the right direction. Yeah, I'm happy at how it turned out. What's called New Blossoms, it's from the spring section. New Blossoms. On the cusp of change, I can feel new beginnings blooming at my fingertips. This one, I think is also really important to defining happy. It's really hard to be happy when you're constantly comparing yourselves to others or what other people have or have achieved. And I think it's even more so amplified in this age of social media. Happy is what you make of it. It is a $20 million mansion with a roaring sports car waiting in front, a sea of flashing cameras and bright, brilliant smiles pointed at you. It is also a warm cup of tea shared with a dear old friend after a long day, a bright and soft rose from the garden from a lover. Happiness is what you define of it and what you make of it. It is expectations becoming reality of reality meeting expectations or expectations exceeded. It can be extravagant or as simple as you define it. And just as such, it can be as difficult or as easy as you make it. This one's kind of cute, but lighthearted, so it's called Hobbies. Things I do that remind me of who I am, that, when I'm doing them, 
feel as if I'm rediscovering pieces of myself I thought I'd lost. So basically a really deep poem about hobbies because honestly sometimes we need things like hobbies to ground us and to allow us to reconnect with ourselves and the creative and carefree parts of ourselves. Oh, I really like this one. Some of these are long, so I'm not gonna read them. This poetry book compared to all of my other poetry books uh, has the most number of poems where I'm just really proud of them and they just really come full circle and resonate deeply with me. So I hope they do with you guys too. If you're interested in reading, it's also available on both ebook and in paperback. So definitely go check it out. See you guys in the next one.